Hello, um, so we're going to start with the introduction video of the usage of our um, ultraviolet leak detection kit um, AEK203. So it will be delivered in a, the kit itself is going to be delivered in a small box where you've got the label tag on it and the box itself comprises of a couple of pieces which are all um, ex exposed here on the workbench. The, the first obvious two parts you've got is the UV light, the UV glasses, ultraviolet glasses. There is an ultraviolet light with which if I were to put a droplet of tracer dye on a, on a sheet, I will illuminate the droplet and you will have a reflection. So if I will, Landini, guarda me, if I'm going to put the glasses on the camera, Landini, Shed light. Lo vedi? Uno. Se ne va il giorno. Sì, sì, ma sì, sì. Dai, sì. Dammi le occhiali. Ok, so we've got the UV lights, UV goggles, and then we've got um, an injector, which these, these are the three uh, different items which comprise of the injector itself in which we will need to assemble the liquid. So we're going to put the tracer dye liquid here into the injector just like this. Um, put the handle on the injector and from there we can So this is now the injector with the tracer die pre-assembled. Now I've got three parts, injector with tracer die, a UV light comprised of three LED lights and an on-off switch at the back, and I've got my ultraviolet glasses which will enhance the, the reflection of the tracer die. Now, what we need to do is we will need to inject the tracer die on the suction port of the air conditioning system. So if you come over here, Lando, you've got two ports, suction port and discharge port. So we will typically insert the tracer die over the suction port, just like this. Uh, the first requirement for us to fill the system up with oil is that there is refrigerant in the system that we do it over the low side suction port and that the system is running the moment we will be injecting the tracer dye into the system so first thing we need to do is we will need to just for safety we can wear our personal safety devices such as gloves and goggles, and we are now going to switch on the air conditioning system of the car. So turn on the ignition, select air conditioning, maximum cold, final second speed, and um, start, up, start up the engine. Okay, engine is now running, air conditioning system is running, so we're going to proceed to take our pre-assembled injector, connect it to the low side suction port and just give it a couple of twists. There is, there is a level, level indicator over here and it will tell you how much tracer die you've injected. So we can disconnect of it. Once you have injected the tracer dye in the system, you leave the system to run for about a quarter of an hour, and then you're going to switch off, switch off the system. Switch off the system. You're gonna now take your UV light. You're gonna wear the goggles 
and you are going to lighten up the entire tubing of the air conditioning system uh, starting for example with uh, the condenser which my later back you're going to follow all of its piping until you are going to see where the tracer die has evaporated from out of the system in this case you can clearly note that some Refrigerant with tracer dye has escaped from the expansion valve, thus we have identified the leak being at the expansion valve. We are now going to proceed with the repair replacing of some o-rings or other components.